Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the last video, we discussed the fields and data types in Dynamic CRM. If you haven't watched our previous videos, please check the link in the description. Today, we will see what business rules are in Dynamics 365. Let's get started. First, navigate to Dynamic CRM and open your solution. As you know, today we are going to interact with the business rule. So, let's quickly know what the business rule is. Business rules provide a simple drag and drop interface to implement common business scenarios that use to require custom code. The scenario of today's video is that we will create a business rule that makes a field required, which means when we select an option from the option set field of a lead entity, then the field with that name becomes business required. Let me explain everything practically. For that, open your lead entity and open the main form of the lead entity. Now we will create an option set that will contain a required field name. For that, click on the new field button in the left bottom corner. Now fill in all the required details. The type of this field is option set. I have added four options here. First one is phone number, second email, third job title, and last one is item. Simply select the save and close option. Now we need to drag and drop our option set to the lead main form. Just do this and click on the save button. Now we will create a business rule. As you can see, there is a button for business rules in the top bar. Simply click on it, and to create your own business rules, click on the new business rule button. So, this is the interface of business rules. First, we will give a name to our rule. Now we will work on it. As you can see here, there are two things. One is a condition, and the other is an action. So, the condition is the trigger point of your rule, meaning when you want to perform this rule, and the action is the result of your run. Let me explain everything practically. First, we will create a condition for that. Click on the condition, then go to the Properties tab in the right side. The source is an entity. The field is that option set, which we created a few minutes ago, and the value is the phone number. And then press the Apply button. So, now you can see in the Business Rule text view that there is a condition written. If the required details equal phone number for that part, we need an action for that. Click on the component. There are six kinds of actions here. We will go with set business required. Simply drag your field to your condition. Our condition is that when someone selects a phone number from the option set, the phone field becomes business required and is now filled in with all the details. Select you field as mobile phone and status, business required, and then click on apply. When the required details option is set to a phone number, only the mobile phone field becomes the business required type while the other three fields do not. So let me create all the conditions and then I will show how this rule is going to work. When the required details option is set to company name, only the company name field becomes the business required type, while the other three fields do not. Similarly, it will work for the rest of the conditions. Let me zoom out and show you how stretched this business rule is. When we are business requiring a field under some conditions, we should also keep in mind that all of the fields we have worked on do not make our business required. As a beginner, it will be a good approach to learning. Now click on Save. Then validate your rule and activate your rule. Wait a few seconds and click on the activation confirmation. And then navigate back to your form. Then save and close it. Finally, just publish all the customizations. Navigate back to the Dynamic CRM interface and simply refresh. Now we will test our changes for that open lead entity and open any record. By default, there are only two fields, business requires topic and last name. Open your required details option set and select the option set. As you can see now, the mobile phone field has become a business requirement. You can test it in other fields. If you leave these fields blank, it will show you an error. So today we have seen how you add business rules in Dynamic CRM. You can do other things with business rules. You can perform mathematical operations, display fields, show error messages, set default values, lock and unlock fields, and do other things using business rules. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Please do like and share the video. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new update. Thanks for watching.